Welcome to the first lesson of Osoyu Sport Car for Arduino. In this lesson, we will install the framework of the robot car and align steering servo to make the car face to front. As your experiments in future lessons are all based on the framework of this lesson, it is very important to test the installation and sample code in this lesson properly. Step 1, Hardware Installation Please prepare all parts as above shows. Fix the motor on the lower chassis with two pieces M2.5 times 18 copper pillars and four pieces M2.5 times 8 screws. The lower chassis is printed with an icon like the motor. Please install the motor on this place. Please pay attention for the direction of the wire on motor. If the wire direction is wrong, the car can't move properly. Please check whether rod and bearing has installed a little cup point screw. If not, please use L-type wrench to install a cup point screw on each rod and bearing. Connect steering cup with rod and bearing. Two holes which can be crossed from one side to other side are used to fix wheel, please don't install parts on these two holes. Install two pieces rod and bearings on the long acrylic connecting rod with two pieces and three times twelve screws and M3 nuts. Please install the M3 times 12 screw from bottom to top to cross along acrylic connecting rod, rod and bearing and M3 nuts. Install black servo horn which comes from the package of orange servo motor, on the short acrylic connecting rod with two pieces M1.5 times 6 self-tapping screws. Install the short acrylic connecting rod on the long acrylic connecting rod with a 5 times 6 metal rivet. Please adjust the steering cup to make sure the two holes which can be crossed from one side to other side is parallel to the lower chassis. Fix the two pieces steering cup on the front of lower chassis with two pieces and three times eight self-tapping screws. The long acrylic connecting rod is behind the steering cups. Install two pieces wheels on metal rod. Please leave more than 25 mm out of the wheel. Cross metal rod through steering cup. 
fixed cup points grew on metal sleeve a little. Cross metal sleeve through metal rod and use L-type wrench to fix these with metal sleeve tightly. Install the other two pieces wheels on the metal rod of motor at the same time. Install four pieces and three times 18 copper pillars on the lower car chassis with them three times 10 screws. There is a printed icon for Uno board on upper car chassis, please make sure the direction correct. Use hex screwdriver to install Oso Uno board on the upper car chassis with M3 plastic screws, pillars and nuts. Install the 9 volts battery box on the chassis with M3 times 10 screws and nuts. There is a printed 9 volts on upper car chassis, please make sure the direction correct. Plug the Osoyu Motor Shield V1.1 board in Osoyu Uno board. Install the voltage meter on the printed icon like voltage meter of upper chassis with M3 plastic screws, pillars and nuts. Install MG90S servo motor which is the orange one on the upper car chassis from top to bottom with two pieces M2.2 times 8 self-tapping screws. Install blue servo motor on the upper car chassis from bottom to top with two pieces M2.2 times 8 self-tapping screws.
Install two pieces and three times 18 copper pillars under the upper car chassis with two pieces and three times 10 screws. Install tracking sensor module under the M3 times 18 copper pillars with two pieces M3 times 10 screws. Install ultrasonic module to mount holder with 4 pieces M1.5 times 8 screw and M1.5 nuts. Install mount holder for ultrasonic module on blue servo motor with M2 times 4 self tapping screw. Fixed steering cup under upper car chassis with two pieces and three times eight self tapping screws. Fix upper car chassis and lower car chassis with 4 pieces M3 times 10 screws. Install black servo horn on MG90S servo motor. Fix MG90S servo motor, orange, on black servo horn with 1 PCM 2.2 times 8 self tapping screws. Step 2, Connection Remove jumper caps on ENB D6, IN3 D9, IN4 D10 Connect the motor to K1 or K2 of those OU motor shield. Connect the battery box to OSOU motor shield V1.1. Connect the MG90S motor servo, orange. The D9 of Osoyu motor shield. Connect the servo motor, blue, to D10 of Osoyu motor shield.
Connect the voltage meter to Osoyu Motor Shield V1.1. Connect the tracking sensor module to Osoyu Motor Shield V1.1. Connect the ultrasonic sensor to Osoyu Motor Shield V1.1. Step 3, Software Installation Download Arduino IDE from www.arduino.cc slash n slash main slash software. Set blank equals n, then install the software or unzip the zip file. Download the sketch code from www.osoyu.com slash driver slash sg90 car slash steering test.zip. Unzip this file, you will see a folder named steering test, enter this folder, you will find a steering test.ino file. Connect Inno R3 board to PC with USB cable. Please shut off your battery or unplug your power adapter when upload sketch code to Arduino. Open Arduino IDE, click File, click Open, choose Code Steering Test.ino in Steering Test folder, and load the code into Arduino IDE. Choose corresponding board slash port, and then upload the sketch to the board. Turn on the car and the orange servo motor will rotate an angel. If the front wheels don't face to center front direction, you need to align the servo. You have two options to align the servo. Option 1, align the wheel direction manually. Turn off the car. Use a screwdriver to release the steer arm from servo. Realign the front wheel face to front and then fasten the arm onto servo again. Turn on the car, and the wheel will face front. If not, Please follow the last steps again.
the Nectuno R3 board to PC with USB cable. Option 2, align the wheel direction via revise the sketch. If your steering wheels tends to left, increase the value from 90 to 95,100,105, etc. If your steering wheels tends to right, decrease the value from 90 to 85, 80, 75, etc. Run the sketch again until your steering wheels finally faces to front. Write down the front value in this sketch, we will use this value to change the other sketch code for this car and make steering servo always facing front at default front value.